What's going on everybody, Project C28 here, back at you again with another long-awaited figure review, and this time we are looking at the NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles GameStop exclusive Leonardo. Uh, I remember this was a exclusive box set that they had, including this giant rooftop at the San Diego Comic Con, uh, I think last year? So right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. First thing to note, I do want to say that this figure looks incredible. As you can see through the little window right here, this looks fantastic. So getting to the details of the box, we have the front here. You see it has that classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles VHS look on it, and then it has the logo right here, Leonardo, Nickelodeon, and right here, GameStop exclusive. So you will not be able to find this anywhere except at GameStop. This side we see Neko, we see a product shot here of Leo, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here, and another product shot up there. Oh, and in Nickelodeon right there. Then up top we also have Nickelodeon, logo again, product shots here, him with his swords. And if you want to pause it, you can look at it right here. Leonardo right there. Shows all four turtles there. And then a little cute NECA logo right there. On the bottom, uh, just the people responsible for it. So thank you for all your hard work. NECA real toys, stuff that I don't know, and then another product shot on this side here, and then as well as the top, just Teenage Mutant Turtles logo, another logo, and then don't choke on your Ninja Turtle Leonardo. I'm really excited to have this guy, so let's go ahead and crack this guy open. And here's Leonardo right out of the packaging, and this is a pretty cool figure. Uh, the paint details are really good, uh, the sculpting is phenomenal. I mean, it's like they pulled the uh, the suit right out of the the movie, and it looks literally like no different. So we'll go ahead and get into the accessories first. So moving on to accessories, we see that Leonardo comes with two fisted hands, and his fisted hands come with him in the packaging. And you can see that the wash on these look really good. There's some paint variation in there. You can see there's fingernails that are painted, and the wrinkles and the fingers look really nice too. He comes with two different sets of headbands. He has one for the right shoulder and then one for the left shoulder. And originally I thought these were swooshing effects, but it looks like these are just one for each shoulder, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, you can even see on here the paint detail looks really good on these. You can see it's got some black line wash in there, and that looks really good. And these peg in, and you can rotate them around, so that's really nice to see. He comes with his two katanas right here. Very shiny, very nice me metallic paint on these. And these aren't extremely bendable, so they're kind of stiff. So just be aware of the plastic with these, and then also be aware that they are a little pointy up top. Uh, not too much going on in the hilt. There's a little silver spot right there, as well as the other one here. And you can see there's a little spot right up there. So both look really good. Then he also comes with one slice of pizza right here, which is sculpted very nicely, and not an anchovy in sight. Lastly, I actually wanted to show off the open hands on the figure itself just to kind of let you know that the fingers on here are actually really soft and pliable so you won't have to worry about breaking it at all these look really really nice and cool thing too they're hinged which is really nice too on both sides so it's not a standard ball hinge like a lot of companies are doing right now a lot of the imports are doing that too but um, the hinge here it, it just works and I do like it too because he can very easily hold the pizza in his hand. So moving on to the paint and detail on this guy, this is unbelievable. For being, what, $22 at GameStop, you're getting the quality of a hot toy, which is really insane to say too, because we're getting different figures from other companies, but nobody's doing it like how NECA's doing it. So let me go into detail with that. So looking at the top here, we could see that there's just those blemishes and stuff for a turtle we see the texture of the skin on here and that is just amazing and on top of that we have the sculpting on the shoulders on the back the turtle shell itself there's not too much paint variation right here but there's a little bit of subtlety right in there you see there's the paint for the straps right there and the tape holding together the uh the sheath and then the sculpting right here looks really really good and then even just the arms look really good. The pads right here look like they're almost real. 
which is incredible. And then right here, you can see they even sculpted a vein right here into the arm. And then the tie right here for his wrist. And again, the hands look really good as well. The front of the turtle shell has a bunch of shading right here around the edge. It's got the sculpting right here. This even has texture, which is really nice too. And it's hefty too. So that's nice as well. The head is made on a very soft material, um, but not like so squishy to where it's like uh, you could sink it in or anything. But when you have the figure in hand, you kind of know what I'm talking about. And then you can see the sides right here. They went up top with shadings and the paint details. Just incredible. Looks good here. I didn't notice this the first time, but you can actually see that they painted the straps right here for those metal rings, which is incredible. And then on this side right here, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it doesn't really bother me too much. The transition from one end to the next, that's not too bad. I'm not complaining about it. Then we have the shadings on the legs that looks really stinking good. And then the pads again for his shin. I'm sorry, for his knee pads look really good. You can see the straps again that are painted right there. The little rings. And you see the feet. And these, He's got calves for days, dude. Look at that. And then you see the paint variation in here, some shading. See the bottom of his feet right here. Nothing sculpted on the bottom of his feet, so. But he does have holes on the bot on the bottom for uh, any stands or pegs or anything like that. But look at that, man. Chartimus Prime, you are probably loving these toes. They're not Hulk toes, but they are Ninja Turtle toes. One thing I did forget to mention is the eyes right here. The eyes. That is incredible. You can even see the coloring in them too. Right there. Wow. <laughs> That's almost unbelievable. So last but not least, we are going to check out the articulation on this guy. Paint's been good. The sculpting's been good. Accessories have been really good. Now let's see if the articulation is worth it. So the head can move up, can move down. Moves down really good. Can turn side to side. Uh, looks like at the top he's got an upper torso joint right here. And that's pretty interesting to see. It's, I want to say it's on a ball peg right there. But that looks really good, and you can't even tell that it moved like that. So that's really interesting. The shoulder can move up just about that far, but you can turn it and move it a little bit higher, but that's going to be on you if you decide to do that. He can turn right here at the elbow, and then he can go about this far up, and then you can move that far down. He has a wrist twist right there and a hinge to move back and forth. And then the legs, the legs are on a T-joint as far as I can remember, at least if that's what it's called. T-joint where he can go forward pretty good, but it does come out at an angle. And then his legs can come out this far, which isn't too bad either. And then he has a, it shows on the back that it's a double joint right here, but it looks like you can only get a single joint Oh no, I'm sorry. Nope, that's double jointed right there. That looks pretty good. It's not the best, but you know what? That's pretty good. And then it also does twist right here, so you kind of get that as well. Then his foot can go this far down, this far up, and he does have an ankle rocker. No toe hinge or anything, but he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet as we had saw earlier. So not a bad figure, not bad for the articulation at all. And here are some size comparisons with Leonardo. So we have our Superior Spider-Man Marvel Legend, which is about your standard six inch scale. We have our Mezco 112th scaled um, Michael Myers. And then we have also a sharing company uh, figure, a NECA, a Nathan Drake figure from Uncharted. So I'll say he stands a pretty good stance uh, about the six inch range. Um, Typically, I personally would think they'd be just a little bit taller just due to them being, you know, mutant Ninja Turtles and with how muscular they are and how how um, opposing they're supposed to be. But even if they are a little bit shorter than that, that's totally fine because honestly, it's to me personally, it's not that big of a deal. I guess the biggest thing is you're going to want to fit him in with your 112th scaled figures and he does well. He does pretty good with that. So that's uh, that's my comparison for that at least so to be totally honest this figure has just knocked it right out of the park NECA has done it again with just how awesome the paint is with how awesome the uh, sculpting is with the accessories this figure really stretches the $22 mark 
and I'm excited to see just what else NECA's out there thinking of doing and what they're in progress of doing. So thank you, NECA, for making this review very possible. You guys, thank you so much for staying so loyal and for watching the video. If you can, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, did you really like the new Ninja Turtles from these new recent generation, or did you kind of harken back more to the old versions like this? Just let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Also, if you haven't just yet, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Project C28. I've got pictures, I've got more videos, um, more photos, everything you can think of on there. As well as following Pastrami Nation. Thank you guys for helping support the channel and everything in between. Those guys are pretty great. I'll leave a link down in the description below to their Facebook page. Check them out there. They do everything across the board from movies, comics, interviews podcasts, conventions, uh, you name it. They pretty much are doing it. So thanks everybody so much for watching. See you later.